What is up everybody, Rabies again here, and what a gameplay I have here. This is unbelievable. This is part one of two. I'd rather keep it in two parts. This is one game, two people getting double nuclears. Two different people getting double nuclears in one game. I don't know if this... I've looked it up, I haven't seen anything like it. This and a triple nuclear are non-existent. Or I just can't find them. So I start off the gameplay pretty late. I'm not good with long commentaries. I just I start twiddling with my thumbs and don't know what the hell to do. Uh, Non-lethals, of course, best way to get high nuclears and high kill streaks. Running with the MSMC extended mags. It's really all I see on it. Flak jacket, no doubt. You have no idea how helpful that perk is, especially against claymores. It's unbelievably effective. So him. Mr. Whirl and uh, Luigi HC, don't need the HC really, pull this off. Luigi, quite sad, although he did get the double nuclear using a target finder. I think it's an LSW, something like that. It's, it's a weird version of like that MW3 L86 gun. It's, it's the LMG, I don't know what it is. Picks up the nuclear, and then goes on a four minute nuclear. This is a big map, so doing it with a gun spree is pretty impressive. These guys do not leave, which is the greatest thing, when the enemy does not leave. Too bad this doesn't happen more. It's Halo 3, where you leave a game, you lose experience. And thanks to not having toughness, he loses that gunfight. Probably, if he didn't lose that gunfight, he probably wouldn't have gone double nuclear. The MSMC is not a gun choice I would choose for a map like this. If I were going for submachine guns, I'd either do the Peacekeeper, yep, my most hated SMG, the Chickum, just because it's got that nasty range, and uh, the PDW for its 50 clips, so even with my bad accuracy, I can't miss. Or if I do miss, I'll have a lot of chances to hit. See, that's where he went smart. He used extended mags, knowing that the engagements would not be that tough, and he wouldn't need to reload in quick environments. Although it does happen, but... 40 clips in an MSMC is more than enough to kill a whole team. Unless you're me, then my accuracy is a little debating. Mr. Whirl is definitely one of the best players. And we fear no one. His stats are unreal. I have no idea how he sustains them. 7 KD. I, I just don't see it. 800. Almost 900 score per minute. I, I don't get how he does it. Constant V stats. No. Even with them, it's still unbelievable. Oddly enough, using low score streaks will boost your score per minute exponentially. It really will, because when you run high like swarming dogs, they not only steal your kills and give you 15 points for a kill, but you're not getting those kills. You're not getting that 100 points. So it's not recommended if you're going for incredibly high score per minute to use those kind of kill streaks. Usually with a Stats, you have to sacrifice one or the other. You know, KD, score per minute. He doesn't sacrifice either. He, he's the only one I've ever seen to balance both almost perfectly. Except for Insomulus. His unbelievable 1,000 score per minute gives me a heartburn. <laughs> he didn't know he was down here. I On the radar, it looked like he was under the plane. But there's, there's no way to indicate if someone's above or below you in this game. Unlike, I think it was Halo. Where they're, like, radar, it'd be a little bit different color. That would indicate if they're above or below you. Nope, on this game. And another horrible thing is when the uh, VSAT goes away, and you it doesn't show you right away, because it fades, and you still think they're there. And then they just pop around the corner with the lovely Remington. Hello, I'm gonna kill you now. It, it doesn't end well in most scenarios. So, it picks up another Relentless. At this point, if this were me, I, my heart... I don't even know where it would be. I think it would be up in my butt cheek by now. It would be pounding so hard. It would be in a totally new location. I have not pulled off a double nuclear in all of my history. Or double... I have gone a double Moab. I, for some reason, I can't get them. I almost got one with an FAD. That's one of my favorite guns from MW3, without a doubt. After they patched it and made it better, definitely a great gun. 40 clip, fast fire rate, very little recoil. It's an ugly gun. Bitch ugly, I swear. Iron sights were great, but other than that, 
I think it was a well balanced gun. In hardcore, definitely not. That thing just destroyed. I don't even know what the mo record is for the most V stats in one game. I'd surely love to know. I'm sure I. I know people who've gotten ten in one game. Like I don't keep track. He picks up the nuclear, which is very impressive. Double nuke. I mean, I. I would just stop playing. I'd be on the floor raffle coptering without the laughing part. I'd be like crying coptering. I don't know how you say it. Anyways, let's wrapping up the gameplay. Look at that. Oh, how he didn't die. Just leave it up to this game. Anyways, rabies out. Good day.